75-66, the happy final as the Phoenix move to 8-8 eight and eight on the year and 1-1 one and one in conference play. Let's spend a few moments with the head coach of the Phoenix, Matt Matheny, as always, brought to you by our friends at the Holiday Inn Express. Ryan Winters is our Jersey Mike star of the game coach, and we talked earlier about the job the Phoenix did in the first half. You hold the Mountaineers 6 of 21 from the floor, some kind of defensive effort. Best we've played in a while and uh, maybe our best half of the year. And uh, I thought um, we defended very well. That was a focus coming into the game. And uh, I think our Tim Sweeney's preparation for this was very, very good. And our players uh, locked into the scouting report and executed in the first half. And uh, we made uh, their shots very difficult. And then offensively, we've struggled. You and I talked about that in pregame. We've struggled a little bit offensively. But uh, our flow and motion are two words that you hear us talk about all the time was so much better in the first half. And our, our trusting of our offense was so much better. And as a result, I thought we got some really, really good looks. And uh, Ryan Winters was uh, the beneficiary a few times. You were able to break the Mountaineer pressure. And then once you got it to the timeline, it felt like things began to open up offensively. Fair? Uh, I think so, and uh, we, we had to learn a hard lesson Saturday. We did not uh, break the initial part of pressure uh, up uh, at Western and turn it over a lot, and uh, so we worked on that yesterday, and, and I felt like for the most part uh, we were able to break the initial part of tr pressure, and, and I think we make, uh, again, for the most part, some very good decisions uh, after we break that initial part, and I thought we had some good attack. Uh, we turned it over a little bit late that uh, we got to clean up, but... Um, uh, I like the way we handle pressure uh, for the better part of the game. We've heard from the Jersey Mike star of the game, Ryan Winters. Now let me hear from the head coach about the star of the game. 14 points, it's a personal best, but also three boards on the night. Coach, he's one of seven to grab three rebounds as the Phoenix are plus 14 on the glass. Well, let's talk about uh, Ryan, and then we can talk about rebound. I'm really happy for Ryan. And uh, he, he has worked and worked, and uh, he, he happened to come in at a time when uh, – uh, our senior class, our seniors now are one year ahead of him. So uh, he's had to fight for every minute that he's been able to, to earn. And, um, and then he gets sidelined with the injury uh, this year. And so that set him back a little bit. And uh, we've, we've had a tough time getting him in, uh, in the rotation. And for him to come out and play particularly as well as he did in the first half just is, is really great uh, for our players and coaches to see. We're really happy for him. And then uh, we're not a great individual rebounding team. We're, we're not a team that's going to have a guy get 15 or 16. Boy, I wish we did. Um, but what we are is a, a, a team of rebounders, and uh, it takes a team effort, and it's good to get seven guys with uh, three or more. How much confidence does it give your ball club to also be 13 out of 16 in the second half from the stripe, including, I think, hitting six straight the final two minutes? I think we got good uh, guys that can knock down free throws. And um, it, in this early season, we've had the nights where we shot it really, really well. Right. And then we've had other nights. Right. And uh, uh, to, to finish uh, 14 for 18, we want to get to the line maybe a few more times. But to finish uh, 77%, and particularly in a situation where it was getting a little shaky down the stretch for us to knock those down, that, that, that helps us. We got better tonight. Four in double figures, Riley Beaumont leads the way with 16. Just a quick note on his status. He took a spill about midway through the second half, went to the treatment room to get it looked at, and then was back on the bench and came back into the ball game, Coach. Uh, came back in, um, which is very encouraging for me. I have not talked to the doctor or the trainer. Um, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but uh, came back in and played a little bit. Didn't feel great with it, so we set him out the rest of the game. Uh, be one of those where we have to take a good look tomorrow. Monday night basketball leads us into the first radio show tomorrow night, 6.30 at the Mellow Mushroom for Elon Basketball Live. I think we may have a few things to discuss during the hour. You know, you make the, the, the radio show really, really fun, Taylor. <laughs> I enjoy doing that, uh, uh, particularly being able to spend that time with you and, and to spend that time uh, with the Elon faithful that come out. And uh, we will miss John Truitt, who, who was... Uh, uh, loyal, loyal uh, yeah. attendee at, uh, at a radio show. But uh, we'll have a lot of fun, and uh, we'll, we'll smile remembering that he uh, was there quite a bit. Phoenix have won three of the last four versus the Mountaineers, three straight at home, more importantly, five straight at home this evening with the victory on the year. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Taylor. Uh, a step forward, a step forward, but we got a lot more work to do. Thanks, Coach. See you.